it always takes two to three days to truly see the impact of that hurricane can make in any given area. Yes, the fatality right now, the death toll stands at 16 with the majority of those that's associated to the tornadoes that touched down before Hurricane Milton made landfall. At this time, 2.2 million people are without power and gas stations are closed because of the power outage. And it's becoming a daunting task to find that gas and for people to have any mobility. I am in Englewood, Florida. Uh, where the community of Point Pines is, has suffered significant damage. Just when these residents thought they were going to start rebuilding after Hurricane Helene, they're facing a new devastation. Many of their homes, and you have those images uh, that I sent earlier, are completely destroyed when you walk inside and you see they have to be completely gutted. But just let's hear it from them. Let's take a listen. From what I understand, they're going around and marking all the houses inhabitable right now. So just trying to clean up. I was trying to clean up the street so we could get cars down the street without getting flat tires. And the inside of our house is pretty much trashed. So yeah, we on the back side we had a wall blowout, and just kind of like everybody else, just coming day by day and start cleaning up. Once again, most of the homeowners in this coastal communities, they do not have insurance because they cannot afford it. Uh, Dave Weir, the, who we talked to, um, and his wife, Cherry, told me that they just canceled their insurance policy last year.